science affects every part of society, every part of our lives in some shape or form. And I think it, it really is possible for scientists who are passionate and enthusiastic about what they do to start to think about having a conversation with the public about their work and how it affects ordinary people. I think science is absolutely at the heart of our future. Science is the basis of the response to many of the challenges we face now, from you know, global warming to pandemic flu. And I think people need to be scientifically literate if they're to be able to take a proper part in discussions about their future. Things have changed dramatically in the last 10 years. 10, 15 years ago, very, very few scientists even dared to engage with the public or talk to the public. Things are changing very quickly now and I think the UK is fair to say is a world leader in terms of public engagement in science and we're seeing more and more scientists starting to to step down from their ivory towers and, and, and talk to members of the public. The public is very positive towards science and, and has actually a, a very uh, values science and, and the practitioners, the researchers. So we're building I think from a good base but what we'd like to do um, is very much involve uh, the public in, in a dialogue on the research, not only to inform uh, the public, but also to get to improve the way the research is done. The science that we do, the science that I do, the science that all scientists and universities do, is primarily owned by the public, because of course they pay for it. So they're entitled actually to understand, to hear, and to react to things that worry them. I think there are many ways where we can communicate the, the principles of scientific practice to the public. Uh, scientists not only talk, need to talk about what they do, but also why they do it uh, and why it's important to the public. And there are many different fora available now, whether it's through the media, newspapers, TV, radio, the internet. The level of communication by scientists is often quite abysmal. And you see this very well when they try to communicate what they've done experimentally to other scientists at meetings and in journals, and even there I think they frequently fail the test. I think that science is the most important thing we do as a society, and that's, it sounds a controversial thing to say, but without science we still be living in caves and living up a tree. I mean everything you see around us, from, from mobile phones to electricity to medical science, everything is, is, is a result of science. There is an increasing sense of responsibility in the media. The difficulty of course is that any scientific development will be seen as being newsworthy and therefore it's the news editor that tries to sell it because it'll sell the newspaper. That's always going to be a tension and quite understandable. I don't think the public are clear enough yet about the uncertainty of science. We tend to send, send across the message that science is a fixed body of facts and that you can't argue with it. Well, actually, scientific knowledge is very provisional and uncertain. Schools need to make that clear to youngsters and scientists need to make that clear to youngsters in the way they communicate both with schools and through the media with the public as a whole. Scientists really do need to um, make sure that they put the message across simply in an exciting way that the audience will want to watch and not turn off. There is no question that a knowledge of science and an understanding of its power and its misuse civilises a society in a way that nothing else can do.